Here we go. This tweet from Ethan Klein, which I think is really dumb, in my opinion. Ethan Klein said this because Ethan Klein and Andrew Callahan are friends. I think he's the one that shared that Andrew Callahan is in a psych ward or something because of all the trauma he's going through, which is funny. He's literally trying to make himself to be the victim, even though he has a string of victims that he flipping abused. But hey, what can you do? Famous men should not have random hookups, especially involving alcohol with fans, period, ever. This is all getting too much. First of all, any dude who says period unironically, I'm not going to listen to you. I want to maybe kick you. I want to maybe push you in front of a moving car, but I want to trip you or something, right? No, no man worth their, worth, it, worth their weight in salt should be sitting there saying period unironically. Get yourself a hobby, kick a ball, throw a ball, learn a martial arts or something, right? Like, yeah, you need to go to the Brendan Schaub School of Alpha Males or sign up to an Andrew Tate class. Like, don't be doing that. Secondly, I just think this is naive and really kind of um, doesn't operate in the real world because unfortunately, this isn't an issue of famous people. This more has to do with the issue of people just not being creeps. That's all it should be about. It should always be about creeps and agency. If you're a girl and you're going to meet somebody, you should have enough agency where you're not being coerced into sleeping with somebody. No matter how famous, no matter how much they ask, if nobody means no, you should be saying no and remove yourself from the situation immediately. You shouldn't be in any position where somebody can coerce you into sleeping with them. That's insane. Secondly, if you're a guy, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be in any way, shape or form trying to convince anybody to fuck you either, right? It shouldn't be a convincing thing. Like really and truly, it shouldn't be convincing. It should be co it should be consenting. You both should agree to it. It should be something you both enjoy. Bloody blah blah blah. That goes without saying. But this idea that nobody famous is ever going to hook up with their fans is so naive. It happens all the time. Um, I think this is really silly. If anything, the message should be to all men out there: no means no. And also, this should be a lesson to some guys because some guys didn't understand that sexual assault or sexual harassment could be continually asking somebody for sex when they say no so now you all know if you didn't know beforehand you know now clearly but this idea that famous people can't hook up with their fans in a consenting way is ridiculous in my opinion it really is because clearly it happens it happens all the time the issue isn't with fans the issue is with guys not taking no for an answer and the issue is also with girls for whatever reason being okay with giving in to somebody when they keep asking for sexual favors it's like no Especially if you're a grown adult. If you're a child, fair enough, it's a bit different. Maybe not mature or maybe not well adjusted socially. But if you're a grown up, you should in no way, shape, or form be coercing to fucking somebody. That's insane. No way, shape, or form that that should be happening. They shouldn't be asking you but repeatedly, of course, but you could easily, or not easy, if you can easily remove yourself, remove yourself from the situation. In that, in that, I think in that position. But hey, what do I know? And of course, he's fighting for it. Someone said here that I agree with. Do you don't you see how this is um, um, horseshoed into the enforced monogamy uh, sobriety wholesome? He says not at all. I think famous people need to be careful with their power. Again, this power thing is such a misnomer. What does this even mean, power? Especially when you're when you're in a situation where it's a man and a woman. It usually, lies the woman anyway because they're the ones that choose. They're the ones who decide who is going to get inside of their pants, yay or nay. So this whole power thing is ridiculous, in my opinion, personally. This issue of power because it shifts based on the scenario. It shifts based on who is involved. It's very fluid, and it just should just be about consent. It should be about consent. Two adults willing to wanting to share time together. If they both say yes, cool, no problem. If one says no, stop. You go home. It's not that big of a deal, really, in my opinion. It's like, okay. He says, yeah, I think my parents people need to be careful with their power because too many people will get hurt. How is it enforced monogamy? Do you really think it's in inadvisable that you should be sober the first time you have sex with somebody, especially if you're. <sighs> Again, this is donut talk, isn't it? You're not in the real world. In the real world, stuff doesn't work out like this way, innit? Sometimes people drink just to kind of calm the nerves, to soothe the nerves. We have people talking about their shaking, retelling a story. People out here are suffering from anxiety that they don't even know about that hasn't been treated. They may be going to these events or going to these social events and meet people and they're waiting to drink to be socially adjusted and secure. It doesn't mean that they have to go to the events sober just to kind of hook up people. It's really dumb. Yeah, people say here, yeah, I'm sorry all your friends are creeps. <laughs> exactly. This idea that all famous people shouldn't be hooking up with their fans is crazy. Just don't be a creep about it. It's not that difficult, really, to be honest. It really isn't that difficult. But hey, what can you do? 